I'm glad you stopped by to Trailer Chicks today. I'm Britta, I'm the cooker, and we are gonna make some delicious food. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a small kitchen, be efficient, and have leftovers at the same time. I like to say, cook once, eat twice. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna always give you suggestions and recipes on our website that you can take along with you and have a fabulous trip. So whenever I'm ready to roll out on a trip, I like to upload my recipes, make shopping lists, do a little planning on my iPad. When you're working in a small space, you wanna be really well organized. So today, we're gonna to do a chicken in mole. When I think of mole, I think of chocolate, chilies, tons of spices, maybe nuts, seeds, fruit, and it seems like a really complex dish that's gonna take you a long time in the kitchen. The great thing about my recipe today is it's really quick, and you can make it with staples from your pantry. The whole prep time takes less than 30 minutes and you'll have a great meal on hand and something you can turn into chicken mole tacos, enchiladas. If you make extra rice, that's always great to make fried rice. That's one of my favorite leftover meals. First of all, I'm going to, I just seasoned up these chicken thighs and I seasoned them just with salt and fresh pepper. I heated up my pan and I use, I like to use coconut oil. Um, coconut has a really high smoking point, so it won't start breaking down when it gets hot. So I'm getting this heated up. It's got a little bit of coconut oil in it, and then I'm going to just brown the chicken in that. So this is just going to brown in here for about six minutes. You're going to turn it once, and after that's done, we're going to take it out of the pan and make the sauce. So I've browned the chicken. It's resting in another dish here. I'm going to add the coconut oil some fresh chopped garlic, my spices, which is a blend of ancho chili powder, a little cumin, oregano, and a pinch of allspice and cinnamon. We're just gonna stir that around for about 30 seconds. It's really fragrant, it smells incredible. Then we'll add half a can of tomato sauce. And you don't need to worry about getting all the <clears throat> exact amounts of ingredients as all of this will be posted on our website along with suggestions for pairings and things you can do with leftovers. Then I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of chicken stock, chocolate chips, something you should always have on hand. If you don't have chocolate chips, you could always use uh, part of that chocolate bar you're munching on right now. Just be, make sure you get a nice dark chocolate. And then finally, and this is really what makes this sauce magic, just this little bit of almond butter turns this sauce into this amazing consistency and gives it a really nice, rich, well-rounded flavor. All you do is put all the ingredients in there, give it a nice good stir. I forgot to add a little bit of salt and then bring it up to a simmer. Then we're just gonna add our chicken back in it. It smells so incredible. So I'm using, I decided to use ancho chili powder. You could use just um, regular chili, chili powder, but anchos are traditionally used in a mole poblano, which is one of the moles of Mexico. You wanna also add the juice from the chicken back in. Then we're just gonna bathe the chicken in this sauce. Let it simmer here for about six to eight minutes and dinner will be ready. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a great coleslaw. It's really easy and it makes it even easier if you buy this already prepared coleslaw mix. If you don't wanna do that or your store doesn't carry it, just get a head of cabbage, just chop that up, a few carrots and you're good to go. So, the dressing is just a combination of yogurt, a little mayonnaise. If you don't have yogurt, you could use buttermilk, you could use milk with a little lemon juice, uh, sour cream, improvise. It, has, it also has a little bit of olive oil, fresh lime juice that I squeezed, salt and pepper. And I love making dressing in jars. You can use an old mustard jar, or I just happen to have a canning jar around. Then you're just gonna shake that up really well. So you got your dressing. And to the slaw mix, I'm going to add some red bell peppers for a little color and flavor. 
chopped cilantro, and green onions. And that's it. We're just going to toss it together and it makes a really delicious side dish, especially with the mole, because the mole is so deep and rich and this is a nice kind of tangy, creamy counterpart. I'm adding cilantro, green onions, red peppers. If you have an avocado, that is also delicious in the salad. You could even add a little feta cheese or a Mexican queso fresco if you wanted. So I'm just going to toss that up. <clears throat> I like to start out with pouring about half the dressing on, then you can always add more. It's hard to uh, subtract it once you got it in there. So this salad is best if you toss it together about 15-20 minutes before your guests arrive, or before you're going to eat. Oh, oh, look at, look at, like, oh, so good. oh my! Oh, yummy! Oh, I am starving. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, and that's how we roll. <laughs>